Mafunzo katika kilimo ni nguzo kwa kila mkulima katika bara la Afrika. So you have a lot of red spider mites there. Kupitia mradi wa Satellite Farmer Program kutoka kikundi cha wakulima cha Africa Farmers Club unasaidia wakulima kutoka kila eneo kupata mafunzo kutokana na vituo vinavyonuiwa kubuniwa karibu nao. Na watu wa FC naambia waendeleze hii mambo anafanya kuelimisha wakulima. Huwa ni furaha kwa mwalimu anapomfunza mwanafunzi na kuwa kelekezo kwa jamii. Kupitia mkulima Catherine Kamano ikawa furaha kwa kikundi cha wakulima cha Africa Farmers na wakulima kwa ujumla. I'm impressed by African Farmers Club. I think uh, if you keep this up, a lot of us will leave offices and become farmers. Matarajio yakawa juu kwa wakulima kabla ya mafunzo. I'm looking forward to great uh, teachings uh, ideas because uh, it's basically hata sijajua nataka kufarm nini but i know nikitoka hapa i'll have an idea and what to do even farm management how to deal with everything basically i'm expecting to learn a lot out of experience i've been following african farmers on facebook and i've seen the farmers experiences in different fields Wengi wakikiri ilikuwa mara yao ya kwanza kuona mmea wa mabeda yani okra na mbona uvunwa kama mkulima amevaa glavu mkononi. Kwa leo sijawahi kuona huu mmea wa okra nimekuwa nikisikia tuna nikiona kwa mitandao lakini leo nimepata nafasi ya kusoma training kuwa trained physically na mkulima na labda nitafikiria ku, kuanzisha mradi wa kulima okra. Wakulima walizuru sehemu tofauti shambani mwake Kate na kujifunza kuhusu mimea tofauti kama vile mabeda, tango na sukuma wiki na vile vile kujifunza namna ya kukumbana na changamoto ya wadudu na magonjwa. Unapata shamba kama hiyo umepanda overnight asubuhi kuna zote zimekata. Because here those are the funny things we have. We have cricket. So so many crickets. I've never seen so many crickets together. They die. You watch them dying. They die within two minutes, three minutes. You know they come Zina to eat. Brand. Brand. That is what I do. Mm. actually do. Actual, actual, yes. Zinakura brand. Mm. Yeah, zina kujanga kukula hiyo hiyo brand. Uchaganya sasa na dawa. Yes. Why do you place them? You know, you just spread. Like this with weed. You must spread everywhere. Like in ukis. Eka hapo ukose kueka pale kwa hile line. Minatoka sinajificha pale na goja hii ishe. Minarudu. Kilimo kama biashara yoyote uhitaji kujitolea. Kate anasimulia safari yake ya kilimo, changamoto na mafanikio. I left Nairobi and went to Nyeri all alone, then to Kiawara. If you in Lake Kipia, you know Kiawara. I went to Kiawara and I was shown the farm. And I invested and I farmed onion. And I was told I'm going to harvest 25 2.5 million. So I was preparing. You see You don't know how onion looks when it is the farm. So even if you see one single thing looking like this, you are excited the whole week. So myself, I was excited and I was told that I'm going to farm. I'm going to get 2.5 million. And actually I got 119,000 after investing 600,000. And that's how I found myself in Mpisha admitted. <laughs> That that the, that when I got sick and everything that when I got all my shock absorbers I don't get shocked because the farm can give you very big shocks by the way and after that I planted cabbages and a full acre was eaten by elephants after you have even negotiated the price and the following day the, the person who is buying and asking you what am I buying we were here with you and you came and harvested at night I told them I've not stepped there Actually elephant did the harvesting of, over the night. So you get those shocks. Huh? So in farming you get uh, over the years I've learned to you make a loss like is this tomato you see even if I do whatever it's not going to give me anything. Uproot it. Move to the next thing. If it's going to give you money well and good. But some okay, as farmers you see something is not going to give you money and you keep pumping money in money into that plant and then you make a loss and you're crying. And then is us we always make noise when we make losses but when we make profit nobody talks. We all go quiet and uh, you eat slowly 
and then the next no the other our weakness with farmers is that if i do one acre of tomato i get one million i think if i'm going to do five acres i'm going to get five million jesus christ if you do one acre and you get one million next one do a half don't do two you're going to lose everything because you know you're going with so much energy you have money you invest everything even you add on top of that money eh? you lose everything so farming need you don't need to farm with money because most new farmers we farm with money eh? uh, like you'll see a farmer like a farmer uh, there's a farmer in this area who came you buy manure ukikanyanga chini hata hakuna mchanga uh, in that plant there is no there is no soil right? it's only manure you buy fertilizers you buy seedlings so you are investing so much and you're not, you're not thinking if this plant is really going to give you if you work in this farm what i try to do is i try to farm one month crop two month crop so you give me money in the next two months i know whether i'm making money or not long term plants i either do tomatoes or capsicum or melons the rest is one one month we are done one okra is one month Cucumber is one month. Kale's one month. So you try to do crops that are going to give you money uh, very fast. You become stable. Then after that, now you can think of doing crops that need a lot of time in the farm. You cannot plant a, a crop that pineapple takes 18 months. You cannot plant pineapples as a first time farmer. You are going to wait for 18 months until you eat your first harvest. You can't do that. So let us learn. We, we try to, and most of people, we ignore the vegetables. The vegetables have a lot of money because everybody does a vegetable. Anaelezea mbona aliamua kuishi karibu na shamba lake. And what made me come and live around is because I want to be near my farm. The money you have invested in you, you do these calculations. The money you have invested in that farm and the money you are earning while you are seated how much you know some you are sitting in the office but at the end of the month you are paid that salary all of it you take it to the farm your farm you have invested i think you are three years in the future salary in the farm and still you're not giving your farm the the time the, the the farm need time and if you could give the farm your time you're going to make something out of it Bade ya mafunzo Sifa zikamiminia mradi wa mpya na bidii za mchwa za kikundi cha Africa Farmers Club kwa kazi njema ya kuunganisha wakulima. Since becoming a member of this club, I have learned a lot. Especially today, I came for the training arranged by the Farmers Club, Africa Farmers Club. And I've learned so much, especially on the crops that have been wanting to do but I didn't have the knowledge and the know-how. So far it has impacted well and uh, I'm going to try and I have all the information that I need to do like okra and capsicum and kales. We spent a day with uh, farmers from African farmers club and as I had said in the morning, I was expecting to learn a lot and we've really learned from this farm. One, there is a variety of crops that uh, we have really learned about. Like the okra is my first time to see it growing in the farm. We have also seen very good capsicums, very good cucumbers. We have also been taken through a training by the agronomists who are with us, like Dennis where we've been taken through a, a program on how to identify chemicals, reading rebels, and even spraying, and the choice of the right fertilizers. We are very grateful and hope that African Farmers Club is going to continue with that spirit of helping the farmers and exchanging the experiences that the farmers have. From now henceforth, at least I have some several crops. I'll have a sitting. And Tajita Kamkutano ni Biju and Inini basically in ta nita start farming but uh ni mejua mamboya okra, ni mejua mboya hoho, watermelon and uh, tomatoes and more, 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 most of the crops here grown here in Sagana. So basically I'll put into consideration some of them and uh Najua. Yes, you have seen Mbarikiwa Sana many is idea a lot and I'm um, looking forward to more of these forums and uh you may join group on Facebook and I urge my youths to engage with farming 
and uh, it's a good deal. We have learned something that we did along the application of the fertilizers, but from today I believe we will correct and also try to save. Uh, Moreover, we'll be able to teach and train most of the farmers at this, uh, around this area. But, uh, I've also understood on how to protect our cucumber, on how to protect on the fly, uh, on the flies, and so on. So I have to give thanks to Africa Farmers Club and the Wairikuwa Karibisha Tena. Tafadhari to itani tena tutakuja. Ile masomo ni mepata leo imeni pamtisha kwe kulima. Sasa nikitoka hapa nafikiri nitaenda tu kwanza kulima sababu kila kitu iko. Kupitia mradi huu wa kulima watakuwa na vituo vya kusoma na kupata mafunzo ya bure kutoka wataalamu na wakulima wengine. Jiunge upate mafunzo ili mazao yawe ya kufana.